right, here we go. You ready? Oh my God, yes. Ready, hit it. <laughs> yeah. From takeoff, more than 500 feet per second. To a final fantastic maneuver before landing, my flight with the U.S. Navy Blue Angels was everything you'd expect it to be. Breathtaking, exhilarating, and well, we'll get to that in a minute. My journey with the Blue Angels actually began three months ago with a visit to my doctor for a physical. Just one of the first signs that this was going to be intense and potentially dangerous. Fast forward to the big day at NASA Wallops Flight Facility. First, signing the waiver. Indication number two, that I might want to turn and run. Note the disapproving look on 47 ABC videographer Mike Lawrence's face as he signs as a witness. Next, we practice the all-important hick maneuver. Ready, hit it. <coughs> The Blue Angels pilots fly without G-suits, so to counteract the intense gravitational forces you encounter on the flight, they teach you a set of movements and breathing techniques to force the blood back into your heart and head so that you don't pass out. It feels ridiculous. When it's go time, I'm excited and anxious, but suited up and so ready to go. Crew Chief First Class Petty Officer Eli Lang we even have matching shades. Cool as a cucumber, right? Wrong. Walking up to this FA-18 Hornet jet fighter is pretty intimidating. My pilot, Captain Jeff Koos, call sign Cooch, helped ease my fears once we were up in the air, explaining each and every move before we did them. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is this delta roll. Okay. Whoa. Oh, uh, you're upside down. <laughs> Go. Enjoy awesome. the view. Using power. Using more power. But after going almost to the speed of sound, a couple turns, flips, and flying vertical, I realized how important that hick maneuver training was. Awesome. Next up, big loops, flying upside down. Rolling in. And flying weightless in a free fall at zero G's. Cool, huh? Just floating in your seat. Then there was this maneuver, which pulled 6.5 G's. And the barrel roll break at 7.1. My stomach had had enough. All right, nice work. Woo! Wow. How'd that feel? I'm not going to lie. No, that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely disorienting. After a quick break, we took it easy, flying above the clouds. With my courage back up, I chose the difficult landing over the easy one. Now, this maneuver simulates a landing on an aircraft carrier, and I paid for my arrogance by getting up close and personal with another air sickness bag. That was awesome and intense. That was absolutely intense. Back on solid ground, there were plenty of hugs for the crew chief and for Captain Coos. It's the best part of my job for sure. It's so fun to be able to share that experience and, and give them a taste, a small taste of you know what it means to be in the Navy and Marine Corps. And, and we just try to emulate the flight demonstration a little bit.